Hello Daniel and Kiki. Hey. How have you been? Wonderful, thank Good. you. Okay. Um, my name is Murugi from Capital FM Kenya, The Source, and we're live from Nairobi, Kenya. Thank you for being on. Um, I'd like us to get straight into it, and I would like to ask you what was the best part of working together on this movie? The best part of working together, I think, getting to know one of them. You know, yeah. you're like my best compadre. Oh, you know, yeah. you know, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I think working together, getting to know one another on a professional and personal level was like something that I always have with me forever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this press tour has been pretty fun. It's probably the funnest press tour I've been on. <laughs> right. I can't lie. Seriously. But I've been <laughs> I've been talking about some deep things on previous ones, but this one's been really fun. <laughs> Kiki's a uh, laugh a minute, and she she likes to make me famous. So. Oh wow. I'm glad you guys had fun. So, um, are you guys horror movie fans? And what did it take for you guys to get your minds right for this movie? I, mean, I, I don't really watch horror in my spare time, but I don't watch a lot of other genres. I watch 30 minute comedies and Selling Sunset. That's all. Ah. That's kind of me. When I'm chilling <laughs> selling out, that's, Sunset that's, is good. That's just my it's lane. Good. That's just my lane. That's <laughs> my wind. Good. See, that's my wind down TV. So, um, what's the second part of the question? What did you do to get your minds right for the mm. movie? I think the horse training was, it, it, I thought it was just about training, but it's actually about yeah. the mindset of OJ. You know, I, I really yeah. found that and how he relates to animals. He has his own relationship with animals and the horses are his friends. He doesn't have people friends. He has emerald and mm. that's about it. And yeah. uh, that's what would really help me get my, my mind right for it. And anytime I do a movie, I just kind of like remove all the distractions from my life so I can just focus on what the task is at hand. And for me, this was obviously like a role, I take every role seriously, but definitely I wanted to immerse myself in this experience and learn from Daniel, learn from Jordan. I just knew I was going to be around uh, the, the cream of the crop in terms of, you know, talent and um, skill. So, yeah, I just, you know, removed all distractions and focused on this. Let's talk about the challenges uh in filming nope well we kind of were coming out of the pandemic so we had a lot of challenges in terms of just like you know logistical things you know uh, making sure that no one got COVID, keeping everyone safe um and then obviously the location it was very hot and, and deserted and you know what i mean so a lot of different things like in terms of just like the atmosphere and and getting back to work after having been shut down for so long yeah in terms of the pandemic and filming this movie what did you think you learned from the experience? It had its challenges in terms of like the stop-start nature of the shoot mm -hmm. and it like really prolonged the shoot. So there was a like level of stamina that you had to kind of conjure up when it came to September. We were supposed to be wrapped, but because of the, the delays that it was, it was hard and also to stay focused on what we was about because like the tail end of the shoot was a lot of action sequences. So trying to yeah. keep tapped into the character and um, and also the fact that we were so distant and couldn't really see people's faces, you know, like yeah. um, like on the cruise, you, you just kind of have an isol a bit more of an isolated experience on set than you would have in on on a shoot pre pandemic. So that were, they were the challenges and, and differences about shooting in the pandemic space. Wow, that must have been something. Let's talk about, uh, you know, being people of color and taking center stage in a horror movie. Uh, and working with Jordan Peele, uh, what do you think about all these things, uh, you know, when they come together, what does that make you feel like? Happy, thrilled, love it. Bless I think it. it's just, yeah, amazing. You know, it's a wonderful thing. The characters are rich. Well, you know, our blackness does not totally define us in a way that's in related relation to oppression. You know, our culture yeah. and our experiences are a part of it. You know, it, you know, it's, it's, it's a part of our narrative, but it's, it's based a lot in joy and legacy and um, take taking claim and space in what you have always been a part of. So it, a lot of joy that's within it that I think is also important. It is lovely to see you guys, uh, people of color, telling our stories the way we would want them to be told. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye-bye.